it's me and Richie and welcome back to my channel first of all I would like to say thank you to all of my subscribers and viewers na patuloy na nanonood ng ating mga tutorial videos at dahil sa inyo na reach po natin ang 1.6 subscribers yay I'm very very happy and thankful to all of you at dahil dyan tuturuan ko kayo ng software na makakatuling sa inyo sa pag recover or pag restore ng mga deleted documents and files mo Lalo na kapag ang trash bin nyo ay na-clear nyo pa. So, ano nga bang software itong gagamitin natin? So, ano pang inaantay nyo? Tara, simulan nyo ng panoodin. So, guys, nandito na tayo. The first thing we will do is I will first show you my trash bin. As you can see, it's all emptied. I have no chance na to restore or to recover all my deleted files. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you uh, software that we can use para ma-recover natin or ma-restore natin yung mga deleted files natin. So it can, this can be your documents, your pictures, your videos, or kung ano yung man yung nakasave sa inyong computer. Okay? na na-delete nyo na. So, this can be accidentally deleted or you deleted already but then you wanted to uh, recover it. So, ito yung, mga, ito yung gagamitin nating software. Alright, so the next step natin is to type in recuva.com and then i-redirect nyo tayo sa kanilang site. We are now in their site. So, makikita nyo may dalawang version siya. May free and pro. So, aside from that, Meron siyang mga features like superior file recovery. So, kaya nyo din, pwede nyo din ma-recover yung mga damaged disk nyo. Um, yung deep scan for buried files. Yung mga files na hindi nyo makita or mahanap. Ayan, meron yan. And then, securely deleted files. Okay. So, andito na tayo sa tatlong choices na pagpipilayan nyo. Yung the first one is free, the, reco the recover free. Siyempre, meron siyang advanced recovery din. Then, the second one is the pro version. Yung, reco yung recovery professional kasi, as you can see, meron siyang mga additional features. So, ano ba yung mga additional features niya? Just like advanced file net recovery, yung virtual hard drive support, automatic updates, premium supports, and then yung pangatlo kasi, ito yung cleaner nila, yung professional bundle nila. As you can see, kapag ang in nyo is yung pangatlo, aside from uh, professional, uh, uh, professional na meron na kagaya si Recova Pro, meron silang additional cleaner. Wow! Okay? So, of course, since free lang ang papakita ko sa inyo, then let's click on our free version. So, after clicking that, this is the feature that you can avail for free. And that is only the file recovery. Okay, unlike the professional, ayan, ito yung makikita nyo. Alam nyo ba kung bakit maganda yung professional version? Okay, yung professional version kasi hindi nga or hindi mo magagawa sa free version kagaya ng deep scanning okay yung deep scanning pwede mo siyang gawin but then uh, it will take hours just like I, a while ago I tried to deep scan and it took like 4 hours so ang ginawa ko I just have to cancel it kasi yung review na nabasa ko is you cannot uh, proceed to the deep scanning without using the pro version. So anyway, in order for you to search something complex or very corrupted one, you have to purchase the professional version para ma-recover mo yung file na uh, need mong ma-recover or ma-restore. So, aside from that, yung virtual desk support kasi, um, as you see, diba, sabi ko is available lang siya sa pro. Ito kasi yung, yung mga virtual library nyo sa cloud, ayun, or sa yung mga virtual drive nyo, yan. Sa professional version nyo siya makikita. Okay? So, aside from this naman kasi, meron ding alternative si Recova. 
Kung gusto nyong gamitin, kung ayaw yung gamitin si Recova, it's okay. You can choose naman Stellar, Recovery, Testis, or this Drill, tsaka marami pang iba. But then kasi si Recova, kung bakit ito yung pinakita ko sa inyo. Kasi ito yung pinaka-compatible wow! for Windows and other programs. Like, for example, yung test this, this is compatible sa Mac. But then, overall, um, very competitive to. It is one of the best options na pwede kong uh, i-recommend sa inyo. So, what are we waiting for? Let's click on download. Oh guys, before I forgot, hindi lang kasi internal sources ng recover ang pwede nyo ma-recover dito. Kahit yung mga external uh, sources nyo, like USB, hard drive, pwede nyo gamitin si recover. Okay? But then, of course, kailangan yung gamitin si tip scanning. Okay? And you don't need to worry about yung data leak. Meron silang privacy policy. Wow! Kahit free version na yung ginagamit mo. Okay, so after downloading it, let's go to our desktop now. So let's double click on this one and then we're going to install it. So this one will appear. Ito yung files na uh, pipi pagpipilian nyo kung ano yung gusto nyo i-recover. Isa lang ang pwede nyo i-click on. So it's either all files. Now kung ang hinahanap nyo is yung pictures, you click on pictures. So... As you can see, it shows only files of common image formats such as digital cameras photo. And then for music naman, ang pinapakita niya dito is yung audio formats like yung mp3 player files. Okay, and then for documents, yung common of course yung office documents formats such as yung Word, Excel, PDF also included. And then the next one is yung video. Ang pinapakita dito is yung digital camera recordings. And then yung compressed files. And then yung mga emails nyo na na-delete nyo sa Thunderbird, Outlook Express, Windows Mail, and Microsoft Outlook. Ito yung mga uh, bagay na pwede niyang ma-recover. So, you just have to click on one. So, I will click on only this. So, the next part is the file location. Ito yung hahanapin natin kung saan part ng files mo siya inilagay or hindi makita. For example, kung hindi ka sure, you just click on the I'm not sure. So, in this part, is a search niya kung saan sa computer mo uh, hindi makita yung file na yon. And then, the next one is yung on my media card or iPad, of course. Ito yung mga removable drives nyo. Mm, yan. And then yung documents. Yan. Documents folder. And then recycle bin. Okay. So, since ang hinahanap nating files is nasa recycle bin, ito ang ating i-click. Okay. So, this one, as you can see, ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo. If you click on the tip scanning part, itong box na to, it will deep scan your computer or yung yung trash bin mo na kung saan mo siya hinahanap. But if you're going to click on this as it already uh, appeared here, na it will take over an hour. But actually, it's not just an hour. Because the one that I did was like 4 hours. Almost 3 to 4 hours deep scanning. Which is hindi pala siya masyadong applicable sa free version. But if I'm gonna use the Pro version, maybe faster. Kasi ito is for larger drive. So, I'm not gonna click on this one. So, I will just click on Start. Ito yung first part na gagawin natin. Yan. Some part I have to skip on. Dahil matagal yung kanyang loading. Okay, so nandito na tayo sa part. As you can see, ito yung kanyang na-recover na file sa inyong trash bin. And then, if you will observe, meron siyang three colors. There's like uh, orange, uh, orange, green, and red part. Okay, yung green part, ito yung mga files na you can completely download. Okay, so ibig sabihin buo pa yung files nga. Yung orange, ano siya, um, madirecover uh, half-parted na 
okay pa siya. So, ibig sabihin, pag kinilik on mo siya, pwede mo pang ma-recover yung ibang files dun sa isang documents na yon Pero yung iba, hindi na siya visible. Ngayon, pag nakita niyo yung red part, ayun yung mga files na hindi na natin ma-recover. Ibig sabihin, corrupted na siya or hindi na siya ma-open talaga. Okay? So, let's just try. I will show you uh, how I can recover uh, the file. So, I will click on three different files, pati yung colors, para makita nyo kung ano yung mga ating marirecover. Okay. Ayan. So, yung makikita nyo, yung mga nasa side, ito yung date kung kailan siya last na modify. Scroll down natin para inyo makita. Ayan. Ngayon, kung tandaan nyo naman yung file name na na-delete nyo, then mas madali siyang ma-recover. Okay. So, mag-check tayo ng box. So, we have the Kevin Toffel 8, yung RQ, tsaka yung RK. Ay, hindi. Ito. Choose natin R RIA. R1A. So, click on natin yung recover. Then, pwede nyo naman siyang i-direct sa desktop na recovery or pwede kayong gumawa ng folder. So, gawa tayo ng folder para separated siya. Madali siyang makita. So, click on natin yung yes. Okay. So, antayin natin. Ayan. Click okay. And then, double-click natin yung folder. Ito yung recycling bin. Ayan. So, yung first natin i-click is yung Kevin Toffel 8. Ito yung green na uh, fully recovered natin siya makukita. Then, yung the next one is yung SL. Ito yung partial. Pero, as you can see, na-recovered pa din siya yung worldly wise book. And then, the last one, yung R1A. Yung red. Ayan. So, makikita nyo, hindi siya na-open. So, ibig sabihin, corrupted na yung file. So, X na. Close mo muna natin. Lahat. And then, click on natin yung switch to advanced mode. Okay. And then, Makikita nyo, ito yung mga scanning option natin. So, magdi-deep scan tayo. And then, scan natin yung non-deleted files. And then, restore. As you can see, in-skip ko na siya. Because it took me like more than 3 hours or almost 4 hours na rin to finish. Yung deep scan niya is more than 1.7 million files. And then, ayan. So, ito yung mga na-recover niyang files na nakita natin sa deep scan as you can see ayan no yung ating time ng ating pag recover sa deep scan very long time so ito lang yon um you can uh, also find dito yung file na hinahanap niyo kung hindi niyo man siya na find do sa advanced part ng ating scanning so ayun lang um I hope sana meron kayong natutunan at sana maging useful tong software na itinuro ko sa inyo. Thank you for watching my video guys and if you have any suggestion, you can comment down below and if you like the video, please click on like. Dapat mag-blue color kung yan. At huwag natin kalimutan mag-subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button and ang ating notification bell para manonotify kayo sa ating mga new and useful videos just like this one. So, I'll be seeing you around and thank you to all. Bye-bye!